What's up YouTube? It's Mike here back with another video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, in this video what I'm going to be doing is moving some fish into the 1100 gallon. So that's always fun. Um, I hope that this goes smooth. I have a, another RTC slash TSN hybrid that I'm going to put into the 1100. Uh, I got it a few weeks ago, so I've been quarantining it, putting it through a few rounds of dewormer. And I've got a couple of iridescent sharks that I'm going to throw in there also to add to the big group of iridescent sharks. These guys are a little bit smaller. Actually, one's, one's good size. So uh, I'm going to put those three fish into the 1100. That will also clear up some space in this smaller 180. It's way too cramped in there, but I needed something I could quarantine them in. So let's do it. So I'm going to be moving this hybrid here, this iridescent shark and this iridescent shark into the 1100. Now water level is a little bit low because I'm doing, uh, I'm watering the lawn right now. So that takes a lot of uh, the water out of the sump. So the sump water level is low and uh, we slowly are lowering the tank. But everything in the 1100 has been doing fine. I do worry about this hybrid um, Achara and uh, this also is a hybrid RTC TSN. That one just has the more dominant red tail gene. And then this one has more dominant uh, tiger shovel nose gene in my opinion. So I didn't have uh, this hybrid. There's basically two that you'll see. And again, one just has a more dominant gene from the other. So I didn't have that hybrid, so happy to have it and add to the collection. And last thing I really needed was more iridescent sharks, but that's okay. So let's get to moving these guys. I'm gonna do a water change while I do this. So I'm gonna drop the water level 50%. So I opened one of my lids and I'm gonna turn these lights off so I don't stress out the fish here, especially because it's a pretty big move. Now just wait for it to drain. It should drain pretty quickly. So while that empties, I figure I will show you a new pickup, which I mentioned uh, this to you guys in the last video. Um, so it's a new female pearl stingray. Now she's supposed to be um, pure pearl. However, she almost looks like she might be a hybrid, but it's hard to tell she's so small. Uh, I would say she's maybe four inches tops, three and a half, four inches. And that's the size that I got my other pearls at. I have a male and a female already, and they kind of look similar. So it's tough to tell at this size, but she kind of looks like a hybrid. Either way, she's, um, She's very nice and she's doing great. You can tell she's hungry. Super happy to have her. Um, the only thing is, is she's really small. So even after quarantine, I'm gonna have to uh, find another place to put her so I don't have to grow her out in this small 55. And uh, update on that little RTC. He's like double the size now. And even this Hecali, although stressed out because I got the lights on, the Hecali is doing way better than it was doing in the 220. So I think that one's gonna uh, do really well. And also, this rack here is moved away from the wall so I could uh, repaint, me and my wife actually, repainted um, a different color. She chose a much better color, I really like this color, um, for the basement. And you guys haven't seen that I've done a lot of the finish work now on this back wall, so uh, we are at a really good point where I am almost ready to be able to start building the next big tank because this is really what I needed to get done. I needed to get those windows done and uh, this this whole wall completely finished. So I've got the 600 gallon here just to keep it out of the way. But yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Uh, the basement's coming out really nice so you get a good idea how it's gonna look. Gotta make a door for that sump. Um, my wife found a really cool door idea for that. So we're gonna uh, 
get that done and then this will pretty much be complete little electrical work and that is it so gonna have about 18 feet and I'm gonna use about 16 feet of it maybe a little bit more for the new tank um, so yeah that's really cool and that is why this 55 is or this 55 rack I should say is pulled away from the wall just so I could get back in there and repaint the new color definitely let me know if you like the color and whatnot because this will be the fish room color All right, as the water level gets lower, iridescent sharks get really, really freaked out. Um, so I'm gonna try to at least get the big one out now. And I'm gonna try to be like Josh from Ohio Fish Rescue and film it while I catch him. Probably not a good idea, because I am not a pro like that, but. Yeah, this might not be a good idea. I know he's gonna freak out, I feel bad, but. I'd have to get that hybrid first. This stays this way. Okay, got him. Alrighty. Oh, please don't fall into the water. Please don't fall into the water. Alright. Here we go. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Stuck in the net. There he goes. All right, one down. He was the hard one. Let's try to get this little one out. I'm actually mostly worried about these gar getting hurt in this process. They're the most fragile, I would say, and they get spooked easy. All right, got them. Arowana just tried to eat them. All right, there he goes. Into your new big home, guys. And screw it, we've come this far. Looks like everything survived. Let's try to get the hybrid. Strong fish, very strong fish. I mean, iridescent sharks are strong, but. All right, get out of there. there we go. Jesus. Buddy, come on. Chill out, bud. All right. There he goes. He went down and hid in the back. That's probably best. Well, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do an update on those three in a few minutes. I'm gonna give him a few minutes to settle in and then I'll turn the light on so we can go check that out. Uh, Refilling the 180, which is uh, much less cramped now, so that's good. But I also wanted to show you guys, I have my uh, air system running now. So I taped that off just so we wouldn't paint any of it. Not that it matters, because I got a lot of work still to do on the basement. But I got all my valves in. So now this sump is completely run off of that. And I left the old air pump up there, but I'm gonna take that down shortly now that everything is running really well. So I've got three lines going to this. I think I'm gonna add a fourth because um, I keep adding more, K, more and more K3 to this. And then I've got valve here, which goes to the 220, two valves here to the 180, and then four valves to this rack so I can have two sponges in each. I'm gonna add another few valves for this tank, I do have one valve there if I want to run something to the 300, but eventually the 300 is going to uh, be moving again. So I'm not even using it right now. There's plenty of uh, surface agitation in this tank anyway. I don't really have to worry about adding air to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to have that uh, one big pump running now. I've shut off so many things, it's awesome can just run that one pump. I assume it'll help save me uh, some electricity too. And all right, so um, I'm only, I only have on two of the three lights right now, but I wanted to see how they were doing. So 
Those two right here are the new additions. You can tell by their cysts. Um, but they seem like they're doing pretty well. They've been schooling with the others, although right now they just seem to be together. Uh, and then the hybrid is in that back corner there. He's been, um, nothing seems to have bothered him, but he's been hiding out back there a lot, going back and forth between the rocks, not coming forward just yet. But those iridescent sharks are already schooling, and it looks like my iridescent sharks are checking them out. Like, what are you guys doing here? Where'd you come from? So, again, uh, I've got the water level pretty low right now. I'm still draining the tank. But everything seems to be doing well, and I'll keep you guys updated as time goes on how everything's doing. You can always follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics. And I always am doing uh, almost daily updates, whether it be on this or other tanks. So don't forget to check that out. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's cuddling with the lungfish right now. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, um, stay tuned. If you guys haven't seen the last video, I got this 600 gallon. So go check out that video of us moving it in here. And uh, so I got plans for that, but it's not going there. Uh, those of you who've been following me, know that the next big tank is going to go down this wall and it's going to take up the whole thing so uh stay tuned for that again please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in that next video